Hi, this is section 5.6. What we're going to do is solve exponential functions. Um, so I'm going to go through six examples where what we're going to basically do is try to rewrite each side of the equal sign to have the same base number written to a certain power. And then that's going to allow us to set basically the exponents equal to each other. Sounds confusing, but let's just do a bunch of examples. Hopefully it'll make sense. So on the left hand side, I have an exponential expression. You have 3 to the x. On the right hand side, I have 81. So I want to find a way to write uh, 81 using 3 to some power. And from what I know, 3 to the fourth power is 81. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. If you do it in your calculator, it's going to give you 81. So since I wrote um, both numbers as having the same base number, you can actually just take the exponents and set them equal to each other. So in this case, x equals 4. So it's an equation because we're trying to figure out what value of x makes this true. And again, we're just rewriting um, both expressions to have the same base number. So for this example, I want to try to find a way to rewrite the number 1 on the right hand side uh, to some power of 2 basically. So, Or I'm sorry, we want to have 2 as our base number. So 2 to what power would equal 1? And since I know that any number to the 0 power is 1, that means 2 to the 0 is what I'm going to replace the 1 with. So again, same base number on the left as I do on the right. So now we can take our exponents and set them equal to each other and solve the equation. So you would divide both sides by 4 here. So x equals 0 divided by 4, which is 0. OK. Um, so hopefully the next examples will kind of make a little bit more sense then. Um, we're going to be playing around with a couple properties of exponents here. Uh, with this one, again, 4 is my base number, so I'm going to bring this expression down. And I want to try to find a way to rewrite the expression on the right with having 4 as a base number. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 to the third power. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And since now it's on the denominator, I want to try to find a way to bring this 4 to the third power to the numerator. So again, bring down the left-hand side. We're not going to do anything with it because it's already in exponential form. And on the right-hand side, I know that if I want to make 4 come on top from the denominator to the numerator, all I have to do is take the opposite power. So 4 to the negative third power is actually the 1 over 64. So now that you have your base numbers the same, we can set our exponents equal to each other. So 8 minus x equals negative 3. And to solve this equation, I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides. And I get negative x equals negative 11. And if you divide both sides by negative 1, you get that positive x then equals positive 11. So your answer then to this equation is positive 11. So for any of these problems, if you really want to go back and check your work, which I would strongly advise you do, we would just go to the calculator and type in on the left hand side I'm going to do 4 to the power of 8 minus our value for x which our value is 11 and what I really want is 1 over 64 so I'm going to hit the math button on your calculator which is uh, going to pop up a bunch of op uh, options and the first one says frac which stands for fraction and it's going to take that ugly decimal and turn it into a fraction and notice I get 1 over 64 which means that we have solved this equation correctly uh, for the next one, notice that I have the same base number on both of these, but there's no exponent here. And that's because I know that 5 to the first power is 5. So if you just have a whole number written like that, technically there's an invisible 1 up there because anything to the first power is itself. So 5 is the base number on both of these, so let's bring the exponents down. So 9x equals 1. So then if you divide both sides by 9, you're going to end up with a value of x equals 1 over 9. Okay, and again, you can take that number and substitute it back in for x if you want to check your answer. Uh, the last two. So with this one, we're going to do something kind of similar to what we did before, where I see that I have this on my denominator right now, and what I want to do is bring it to my numerator. So I know I can do that by taking 3 to the opposite of whatever the exponent is. If you want to take something from the denominator and bring it to the numerator, you just have to um, change the, the sign of your exponent, which means I had to take the whole thing in parentheses and put a negative sign in front of it. Now what I want to do is find a way to rewrite the number 243 
uh, with a base number of three. So what I'm trying to do is think about what power I would have to take three to in order to get 343. So a good way we can do this is just go into the calculator. If I do three times three, I know that's nine times another three is going to give me 27 times another three is going to give me 81 and if I do it one more time I get 343 so really it was three to the fifth power is what got me uh, to 243 so what I'm gonna do is rewrite the right hand side of this equation as three to the fifth power and again the point of doing that is so that we have the same base number on the left as we do on the right and once you have that, we can set our exponents equal to each other. Okay, so you could distribute this negative sign. I could also divide both sides by negative 1 if I want to get rid of that negative sign. So I have x plus 5 equals negative 5. And uh, what I'm going uh, to do is subtract 5 on both sides, and I'm going to end up with x equals negative 10. Okay, and again, if you want to check your answer, I'm going to keep saying this over and over again until I force you to check that answer. Take negative 10 and substitute it back into this expression, and you will get 243 for an answer. Uh, it does not take that long to check your answer, so I would strongly suggest that you do it. Uh, last one then. So on the left-hand side of this equation, I have a base number of 2, and on the right side, I want to find a way to rewrite this um, with a base number of 2. So notice I have 1 over 2, which technically, that is 1 over 2 to the first power. So what I'm going to do is bring down the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 2 to the 1. Now, this is on the denominator. If I want to bring it to the numerator, like I said, you just have to change the, uh, the sign of your exponent. So once again, bring down the left-hand side. I didn't change anything. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to write this as 2 to the negative 1 power. So I'm bringing it from the denominator to the numerator, which means I'm just making my power negative. And now that I have both uh, base numbers the same, you can set your exponents equal to each other, which gives you this. And then what you want to do to get positive x is just divide both sides by negative 1. So you're going to end up with positive x equals positive 1. And that is all six of the problems that are on page 352.